your favorite guilty pleasure? I don't know, would sushi count? Is that a guilty pleasure? Eating, honestly eating. And it's it's to the point where it's like, like why are you eating so much? Like anytime, <laughs> like I just, enjoy, door, DoorDash I'd say, maybe DoorDash would be my favorite guilty pleasure because it's like, I feel, I don't feel guilty. It is a pleasure and sometimes, but sometimes I'm like, well, now why'd you do that? Now why did you order DoorDash three times today? You know, so but then I'd you're like, DoorDash. but it's so good though, it's right? So good and then i don't have to leave the house like that's the thing it makes you lazy oh what food have you never eaten but would really like to try Hmm. grits i've never had grits and i know that's like a yeah it's like a thing you know for like americans or like african americans um and i've i've never tried it in my mind i want to try it um in Louisiana and mm-hmm. uh, New Orleans. So I'm like cold enough to try it until I'm there. So I would say grits. I That's try cute. New Orleans. New Orleans. In your opinion, what's been the most iconic fashion moment? Oh, anything Rihanna. Period. You know anything what? Rihanna. She could wear anything she wears is like an iconic fashion moment. Oh, there's something that's like at the tip of my head, but I can't I can't see it. I'd go with anything Rihanna for now. Anything Rihanna? Okay. We'll keep that. (laughs) Where do you get your news from on a daily basis? Fun fact, I actually don't. I get my news from the shade room because I have to, Uh, (laughs) you know, but as far as I and everyone knows, like I'm not into news. I'm not into tea. Like it, it sounds crazy, you know, because of what I actually do for a living, but I'm not. I, and and now that I'm in that space, I'm very detached from it when I'm not working. I have to make that conscious effort to like not even engage. I don't look at it. I don't look it up. If I'm not working, I, I don't know what's going on in the world, even though I, I do, but like I'm I try to not. Um so as far as news, I, I don't I don't partake. That actually <laughs> makes a partake. lot of sense. I've been in entertainment a long time and that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah. what's wrong but sounds right? wrong but sounds right doordash don't what's, count i know right <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong but sounds right oh hmm, i have to think about what's wrong but sounds right i couldn't just give you the easy stuff i had to stop i you know i got girl, you got me thinking <laughs> You're like, I thought we was going to go through this. It was going to be a quick, like, you like pink or yellow, you know, chocolate, vanilla, whatever. <laughs> She's like, you got me thinking What's of it. What's wrong but sounds right? Oh, adultery. Okay. I don't know why, but right? Because it's like, it's wrong, adultery. But like, when you hear the word, if you don't know what it means, it's, it sounds like adulting. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good one. It sounds um, right. It is. It is now. We can call it a good one. <laughs> It sounds, it sounds, just the word sounds like, oh, that's not a bad word, adultery. But when you, you know what? I don't know, but I'm going to go with that. (laughs) That's so good. I love it. It's good. It's great. What was the last photo you took on your phone? Mm, Let me look, actually. Uh, The last photo I took on my phone, because I I, I mean, I do a lot of screenshots and stuff like that. (laughs) So outside of that, I would say the last photo I took, oh, I went to a premiere just, was it yesterday or the day before? So um, a picture of me at the premiere. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm living for the outfit. Okay. We see you, Thank little Miss Fashionista, aka <laughs> Femme Beyonce. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, which celebrity do you think is the most down to earth? Um, I would say I have a couple that would come to mind. I would say, well, out of the people I've met, I would say I think Sweetie is really down to earth. Uh, Adrian Bylone, I would say, is pretty down to earth. And Young Miami seems very down to earth, I would say. Obviously, you don't know the ins and outs of people's lives, but they, I would say they seem just more so just chill. Yeah, from the outside looking yeah. in. Yeah, I definitely yeah. agree with that. And so, yeah. okay, last question. If you could, if you had one day to do anything you wanted anywhere in the world, what would you do? 
I would, okay, I would, I always say my dream vacation spot is like Narlins. Anywhere in the world, I don't know why, that's the one place in the world I want to go. I've never been, so I would say I would go there and I would just eat and drink and dance all day with my friends. Like go to all the restaurants, try all the food, try all the drinks, have my family, have my friends and just live it up. Just turn up and have the best time. I don't know if they do yacht parties over there, but we're gonna go to a yacht party. Then we're gonna go to dinner. Then we're gonna go to sleep. Then we're gonna do it again the next day. So I would say eating the best food in New Orleans, <laughs> drinking all the drinks and having my, my family and my best friends with me, I think would be like, the best thing ever.